Okay, so today I am going to uh, change the LED fog lights uh, from these these ones that I got. Uh, they are 16 watts, so four watts each LED, and they have the 4D lens on it as well. Uh, the problem is that I got these on eBay, and they uh, this one has died. It doesn't work anymore. And wow, there's a big B right there. See that guy? Oh, he's gone. Okay, but this one works, so let me just show you. If you go in here, turn my lights. So, went on a trip to Chicago, and in the middle of the trip, uh, this guy went out. And this one's still working. So, I'm gonna replace it uh, with. The new ones that if you've been watching my previous video these are the ox beam um, so branded this time uh, this time they are these are 20 watt supposedly 20 watt um, with Philips 5 watt LEDs so five four of them so 20 each 20 total I mean so yeah I'm gonna replace it with those and technically they should be brighter but uh, yeah Let's start. So first we have to remove the bumper, um, which involves removing these clips. So this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. And the side bumper, this screw, and on the other side as well, this one. And once you have those out, uh, basically the whole bumper will just come off uh, well it won't come off but it'll, there are tabs on the bottom and it'll just kind of lean down and that will give you enough room to gain access to um, the lights or whatever you need I mean you never really need to take off the part in front take off the, the entire bumper unless you're replacing it okay so let me just take these uh, the tabs off Okay, so I've just removed all the tabs here, and uh, actually one thing I want to show you is to remove the tabs, um, these guys, I find that using this tool here, so it's kind of like a flathead but it's got like teeth and it's angled, so using something like this is actually really useful because then all you do is just pry it out, right? So that's just a little tip. Um, and on the sides, it's a nut. And okay, so once you have all these out, you remove this first, which is like a, basically a little flap. Okay, and you just put this aside. Then what, um, all right, okay, so there's one more tab here, which you gotta remove. Uh, let me do that first. So now that everything's removed, um, the bumper is, can, you know you can take it off now but what's actually supporting right now are there's like like tabs here on both ends but you need to like pry open uh, once you do that the bumper will just fall out but what I like to do my little tip is I like to just you know put a little screwdriver here just so that the bumper doesn't fly out and then just kind of open it up so So now I have both sides pried open, as you can see. What you can do is, uh, what I also like to do is I like to put something in front here, just so when you when I pull out the screwdriver, uh, the front can kind of lean against something instead of bending all the way down and like scratching my light bar, etc. So I'm just going to bring something here. Okay, so this is how the inside of the bumper looks like um, so what I've done is using the two uh, front of the fog wires uh, how I mounted them was see I didn't cut I left the original because normally if you want to use go go with the factory um, 
fog lights. You have to cut this open and then mount it on top. But I wanted, I didn't want to do that just because then, you know, all the water, everything's going to come through and then make a mess of the interior of like the engine base. So what I did was, you know, I basically drilled two holes. One feeds the wire and one uh, holds the light in place. I've been doing this for, you know, two or three years now and it's been working great. Same on the other side. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna, so this is pretty simple. Uh, this video, I'm not actually showing you guys how to wire it. Uh, this element came with the factory uh, fog light. So this is pre-wired for the fog lights. Um, so I'm just basically using the existing wire, splicing it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change the bulb, uh, change the LEDs and uh, let's do that first. Okay, so I have disconnected it. Um, basically, if you guys don't know, positive and negative, that's all it takes to uh, wire this up. And then I took out the old uh, fog light and basically it's just a nut. Both nut and washer. And that's all it is. And that's how I connect uh, my fog light. So I'm going to put in the new one and uh, wire those up, connect it, see if it works. Comparison, I want to show you the Oxbeam version of the cube fog lights. And then these are the eBay versions, so I'm guessing they're like more knockoff version. You can tell when you look straight at it. Um, yeah, the LEDs in the eBay version are definitely smaller, and uh, the one in the aux beam, it's, it's got like a black um, circuit board. The bulbs are bigger, and it just looks higher quality. Uh, but in terms of like the actual physical housing, it's quite similar. Okay, time to install these new ones. Okay, so I've mounted this bolt through the hole in the top. Then I put the washer in and then nut. And before I secure it, I'm just gonna hook up the wiring. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Tighten this up. Adjust the adjust the the light the angle, then that'll be done for this bulb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this one first, and uh, while that this one is still working, I'm gonna do a comparison, see how much brighter are if any uh, the two compare. So um, I'm not gonna close everything up, but I'm just gonna have it aimed at my like my garage door and see which one's brighter. So let me install this first, get all set up, all done, and then uh. We'll do a, uh, a video on how it looks. Uh, one last thing before I seal up or finish up that thread is I like to put a little thread lock in there. Just so you know, like when you're driving with all the bumps, it doesn't ever get loose. But that's just one thing to remember, right? Put some thread lock in that bolt. Okay, so now that I've tested and uh, finished the left side, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. Swap those out with the new ox beams. Okay, so install is finished. I mean, it took, it didn't take that long, but I had to eat dinner halfway through, so which is why the uh, it's gotten darker. But this is the final product with the new aux beams on both sides. It's a bit stealthier because now with the aux beam, the, uh, the, the chip is black, so it makes it a little bit darker compared to the eBay ones where where the, uh, the chip was white, like the back. So, they're a little stealthier here. So let me turn them on again, just to show you guys. Boom. Super spot. So 
So they're very directional. And so, and because uh, you can either get spot version or flood version. So these guys are just like, just like a beam. There you go. I may add one more yellow film tint, just to make it just a little bit more yellow. But yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, just gotta put all the clips and stuff back together now. And okay. Alright, see you in the next video.